Last week, I presented some facts about the moon. Some people responded to this with a bunch of figures ending in zeros. I prefer exponential notation myself, but this week I thought we'd do a video on water. While it is certainly true that the moon, and to a lesser degree the sun, cause tides in our Earth's oceans, you only have to look at the stunning biodiversity in a tide pool to realise that this is a good thing. Here's a nice quote about tide pools. On the other end of the scale, another brilliant thing about our oceans is that water actually gets less dense as it freezes. Now that's a great thing for life on Earth, because it means when the oceans freeze over, these guys don't die out. And that's, that's happened more than once. Anyway, back to big figures, while it is true that 70% of the Earth's surface is covered in water, this isn't actually the biggest statistic you can find about the ocean. If you look at all the water on the Earth, roughly 3% of it is in ice caps, lakes, rivers and groundwater, the other 97% is in the oceans. But let's cherry pick a different figure, shall we? This is a chart that shows water as a percentage of the mass of the Earth. The water is the blue bit, and you can't see it. But that's not particularly fair, let's just look at the mass of the crust. There it is. As you can see, there's an awful lot more crust than there is water, and another fact is that it's mostly three times as dense. Or to put it another way, if the Earth was an apple, all the water on it would only fill the volume of a couple of apple pips. Now that is food from thought.